Aloha! How you doing? Welcome to George, you see us? Get in! Hey, George, you're good looking, you. Hey, April Fool! <laughs> I can't believe it. I tell you, this is April already. I wanted to ask my wife if she cut my hair. Huh? What hair? Why does she polish them more? Okay. Anyway, Derek, today I wanted to uh, demonstrate. And by the way, this is uh, Cheryl's sister's recipe. Oh. Real old time. Okay. What we're going to do is bake tofu. Oh, yeah, that's old, old school there. Old school. Okay. So we're going to demonstrate a little first. Okay. I want you to, you know, uh, in a half pan, yeah. I want you to put two tofu. I see. Okay. Okay. Like yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. And in the meantime, mm. we're gonna make one. Um, uh, we're making the sauce. The sauce. Show half. you half. Show you half sugar. Yeah. And maybe meeting about one eight. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Takinoko. Takinoko. Shitake. Shitake. Oh, you use uh, good onion. stuff. Oh, you good yeah. stuff. What kind of onion? Green or round? Round okay. onion. Okay. Okay. So you put in shiitake, you put in, oh, shiitake, expensive, yeah? yeah? You put shiitake, you put takenoko and green onions. Right on. Okay. And it's in the oven right okay. now. Okay. You and, don't we, have and we bake it there for about half hour. Half hour? Yeah. Okay, okay. I go ushong. Yeah? Ushong. Okay. 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 Okay, George, after I burned my hand and everything, uh, what do you like to do now? You know, I forgot. Uh, we use about a pound and a half of ground oh, pork. That's why. I okay. do. It's all ground pork. Yeah, here. yeah. Now we're going to smother the whole thing with onions. Okay, green onions. Oh, oh. everything, yeah. All this. Yeah, we didn't bake it because we would wither it. Oh, big words they use wither. There we go. Okay. Now I want you to, uh, yeah, cut a part of it. Well, it's sort of took for the whole block then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mmm. Hey, how that? Hey, this stuff is good. Dog, lock at you. I tell sister. Yeah. Which one? Which one? Yeah, baby. Mmm. And oh, baby. of course, when. She makes, she makes it, uh, it's not for a big family or what, yeah. Mm. So she uses just one for food. Ah! Yeah. Hey, but what do you think? You know what, it's real old fashioned thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Real simple, anybody. Can. Yeah. Hey, all our old timers out there. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna be right back with my stuff. I'm gonna show okay. you something even more simple. Okay. Aloha everybody, this is Dr. Kimo Alameda, the Hawaii County Office of Aging and I am excited once again to share with you our monthly updates. Uh, this month we really want to talk about our older American luncheon. Uh, every year we get nominations from the community uh, on people, seniors, who have contributed uh, back to the community and these nominations we, we readily accept because we know there are a lot of kupuna out there who you know, have given back and this is their time to kind of be acknowledged. And so this year it's happening uh, at a different location. It's happening at Hapuna Prince Hotel, May 4th. That's a Friday, May 4th at the Hapuna uh, Beach Resort. Uh, it's a nice location. Uh, it's in their ballroom. It's going to start at 10.30 and it goes to about 1.30. And so send those nominations in. We're accepting nominations all the way up to the end of this month. You can come into our office here at the Old Sun Sun Lao building in Hilo or the West Hawaii Civic Center in Kona uh, and make those nominations. You can even call us at 961-8600 uh, and we send you the, the nominations via uh, email or internet. Um, but we want to acknowledge as much kupuna as, as we can. And this is a very, very uh, festive event. Everybody dress up. You know, we get, our, uh, we get the kupuna going to be uh, performing in the beginning, uh, Hawaiian music, uh, some some hula dancing, and then we're gonna have lunch, and then we're gonna get the Johnny Shot Band, which is a uh, uh, kind of a very popular band in, in the West Hawaii side. Gonna come and gonna entertain us. Uh, we have a lot of giveaways. We have some dignitaries will be there, uh, showing their appreciation for our kupuna. And again, this is an annual event. Uh, we look forward to to everybody uh, attending, uh, especially those families who 
had nominated somebody. So come, so, come show support for, for your nominee. Uh, and then we do a drawing at the end um, from the male and female. Uh, we do a lucky drawing and the winner actually gets to go to Oahu. Uh, I get to be the chauffeur, uh, drive them around, and they get to participate in the luncheon that the governor uh, and his uh, staff put together. So please, hey, make your nominations, uh, send it in to our office or the, the office in Kona, and we're looking forward to you guys joining us May 4th at the Hapuna Beach Hotel uh, Ballroom. Again, it's the Older American Luncheon. Thank you, everybody, and best wishes. Thank you, seniors living in paradise. Aloha. Dr. Alameda, also want to inform you of the 2018 Conference for Family Caregivers. It'll be on April 20th from 8.30 to 2.30 p.m. at the Sheraton Corner Resort and Spa. The cost is $25, and you can call 1-877-926-8300 or 925-847-3232 for more information or to sign up and register. Okay, George, I got something real special. Because this is Hawaii Marimana Festival coming here. We get people from all over the world, so we're going to do all different kind of stuff. What do you yeah, think? I'm yeah. excited. Tell okay, me. okay. <laughs> you see, first is the most simple thing of all. Yeah. This is called ginseng chicken stew. It's all frozen in there. And the most simple any man can cook, you get boiling water. You just put this whole bag in for 40 minutes. That's all. Yeah, and you know ginseng, this, this yeah. stuff here. You know when you're sick and all that, people like chicken yeah. noodle soup. Yeah. Okay. This is the best thing yeah. when you're sick. Because this thing, you drink it, it clear everything. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you it know. It has medicinal. Oh, ginseng, it has medicinal. Medicinal. <laughs> you, oh, big word again. <laughs> yeah, but ginseng is the winner. So, I have this thing boiling, yeah. all right? Right in here, the whole bag. You boil the whole bag like okay. this, Okay. Ah. Wow, careful, wow, you know? wow. See the whole bag that is? Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, watch out, it's hot. Okay, and then I cut the top like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, and inside here I got a big chicken. <laughs> big, big chicken. Yeah, let's see the chicken. Yeah. Look at that. And the chicken Whoa. said, the chicken is stuffed with all kind of ginseng, and good yeah. stuff in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And here's a dashi. 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Wow. But you notice that. Oh. Yeah, look at the ginseng right there. Yeah. This is the stuff, the ginseng. Oh. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Confucius ate a lot of this, so he's all smart too, I think. Look at that. Yeah, hey, here, here it is. Yeah, the Koreans they buy this, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is a Korean Korean dish, so yeah. anytime you're sick or you're not feeling well, this is the stuff to do. Wow. You just get this here, boom, boiling water, 40 minutes. That's all. And you get this here. You can feed too. And you get the chicken inside. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah? Right on. So this is my Korean. Okay? The next thing I'm gonna do is um I go do a mixture of Hawaiian, a mixture of Italian. Yeah, okay, all I want to do is I got this stone fire bread. Okay. This is a winner, this one here. You know, I'm going to make pizza with that. So it's so simple, okay? First you put all, you put on some olive oil. You know, Derek, I think I saw this on Rachel Ray. Nah. Yeah. What you use? It's a type of bread. Oh, the non bread? Yeah. Non bread. Yeah, they call it naan bread. I think, yeah. 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 I, I don't say no more bread, it's naan. Okay. Okay? How do you spell it? N-A-A-N. <laughs> N-A-A-N. Naan bread. Yeah. Okay. And of course, this pizza, you gotta get cheese. I got mozzarella cheese. All on sale at KTA. Yeah. Anyway, Rachel Ray, uh, she made uh, like a hamburger. Nah. Yeah. Hmm. Too good, no? Yeah. You know, she, she's too good, Rachel Ray. Yeah. yeah. That's right. She can, she, she's really, and the recipe she makes is fast, easy, and mm -hmm. it's just like ours, too. It's kind of oh, like yeah. sloppy. Any, <laughs> no, any man. Can. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to keep it simple for our yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I put mozzarella cheese here. 
Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first one I'm going to do is like color of pig. So I dump some color of pig on here. See? Yeah? Some guys they like Hawaiian, they put color of pig, they put pineapple, they put all these, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so color of pig is marijuana. Marijuana. And I chop on some tomatoes. Yeah. And I put on some basil. Beautiful. Yeah, and I put in some some what do you call these? Mushroom. Yeah, and chop some. Yeah. See, these are all fresh, you know what I mean? All fresh. They got fresh stuff. Boom. Wow. The next one I did, I have this um Mule brand um Italian sausage. Mm -hmm. Actually I should cover this with some more cheese. And put them in the oven and you know when it's finished because all the cheese is gonna be melted. Okay. Yeah. Mule brand Italian sausage. Okay? It's kinda simple this, okay? Thing with sausage, right? Oh, even sausage you're putting in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this one for this other one. Okay? Oh I see. I think of the casing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can just keep them on. I I read a Italian sausage more than Salami or pepperoni. You know why? Yeah. Why? Seems, <coughs> why? Seems more classy. <laughs> 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 what is this? The casing, okay? So, George, Mary Mana. Man, what a great time of the year, yeah? Oh, Hilo yeah. just breaks up. Oh, yeah. 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 So, Mary Mana gonna be the first week in uh, April, yeah? Mm hmm. Yeah, so look how much I'm gonna put plenty of sauce. And this one is like a little hot too, so it's a hot spicy sausage. Wow. Yeah, put some basil. I, I love basil. I love uh, uh, put some mushroom. Yeah. Load them up. Load them up. Yeah. You know your wife, she likes cheese. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Come on. Come off okay. and just dump some extra cheese here. And I'm gonna put this in the oven. And I'm gonna make another big pizza here, put them in the oven, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay. Okay. At this year's White Gear Alliance 44th annual Chuck Wagon Breakfast, over 2,700 breakfasts were served. The Alliance would like to say mahalo to the community for their outright support considering the amount of rain, flooding, and bad weather. The Alliance would also like to say mahalo to the Scouts High School Leo Club for helping with this outstanding project. The breakfast was certainly a very attractive one and to help raise funds since every penny goes right back to the community. We'd like to recognize Dr. Brian Ito, who served as the chairman of this year's event, as well as Amy Matsui, club president, and James Miyaki and George Kodani as coordinators. Longtime member Herbert Watanabe was there once again on the microphone entertaining the crowd. Again, we say mahalo to the White Gear Lions Club and its affiliates for making a big difference in our community. And the White Gear Lions want to say thank you for supporting their 44th annual Chuck Wagon Breakfast. On February 16th, at the Hongpa Hongwanji Hilobitsu in Sangha Hall was the Hilo High School Foundation 2018 Recognition Dinner. This evening at the 7th Annual Foundation Dinner, they honored the founders of the Hilo High School Foundation. The following individuals representing the initial board are Officers President Clyde Nikoba, Vice President Dennis Miyashiro, Secretary Richard Onishi, and Treasurer Richard Okuna. They are being awarded the Hilo High School Foundation Distinguished Service Award for their leadership in establishing the foundation. The Hilo High School Key Club not only volunteers and help with school activities, 
but is always out there helping the community. Example, this evening the Hill High School Key Club set up, cleaned up, and made all the centerpieces and served the delicious food prepared by Don Hota of Don's Grill, an alumni of Hilo High School. This is what part of this event is all about. Students, alumni, faculty, community, all working together as family. The Fantastic Robotic Club were there with displays and demonstration, and we were entertained by performances made by the Hilo High School Ambassador with their fantastic instructor, Mr. Wendell Ying. Also, there was a silent auction, a Viking t-shirt sale, a lucky question contest, where the winner donated all her winnings to the foundation. These are just shining examples of how the foundation spends their money. The proceeds helps students' activities at Hilo High School. The Hilo High School Foundation I want to thank the donors, the student organizations, the foundation committee, but most of all, the alumni, the supporters, and the community for making Hilo High School such a fantastic educational institution. As the saying goes, once a Viking, always a Viking. Let us listen to the beautiful piano dinner music of Wendell Ng while we look at the amazing crowd that attended this fantastic event. We hope to see all of you and even a bigger crowd next year. Hilo High School Foundation Recognition Dinner. An awesome place to be. good things needed to come to an end. So Foundation Chairman Barry Taniguchi and former cheerleader Roberta Miyashiro led the group in the Hilo High alma mater. My last dish, uh, it's gonna okay. be a really, really fast, okay? Okay. So, you know, the leftover of these uh, um, sausage, yeah. I grab the thing, I mix them up with some hamburger. You yeah. know me, I don't waste, right? Yeah, yeah. So, I mix them up with the hamburger, I'm chopping some onions in there, putting one egg, yeah. putting some 1916 Funko, yeah, yeah, and just press them together. And I made hamburger. It's a little That's spicy, all. yeah, it's a wow. little spicy because this. Mule sausage, you get all different kinds, but this here is the Italian stuff, but it's hot. You can get mild and oh, all that thing, yeah. But I this is gonna be a little bit spicy. Now for this one, yeah, it's even easier. You know, it's got one ton pea, any kind of one ton pea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? So you get the one ton pea, okay? Mm-hmm. 
you put them down like this, mm -hmm. and this is like a, a homemade smokies. But you can use any kind of sausage, right? Look at that! Look at that! Wow! Yeah. So you know what I mean, eh? You see, I I I make make wonton tea, like, <laughs> right? Yeah. How you like that? Oh, look! Yeah. Really good. Smart. Yeah. Smart, eh? You. Sometimes I surprise you, eh? Yeah. Hey, you wish I was your student, no? Yeah. 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 If I was your student, oh, you, I would be a good student. You think you would give me an A? No, I don't know. Why? Yeah? You don't follow instruction very <laughs> well. Yeah, you know who would give you a Jimmy Miyake. Oh, yeah. Jimmy. Yeah, so I just made them like this and I yeah. fry them and it didn't even come out like that. Yeah, yeah. So I fry the hamburger mm -hmm. I made this all with the Muller sausage all on sale yeah, at KK. Wow. Okay? Terrific. So, oh. yeah, then that's it. And then I will take out the pizza. Yeah. We'll be gone and we'll be Okay. Okay. Right on. I picked up Dr. Michelle Mitchell from the Hawaii Family Health Clinic at 50 Ulani Street because she was going to speak to my friends at the Astu Prostate Cancer Support Group. The group was so grateful because Dr. Mitchell took the time on her lunch break to speak to them. And then after that, you go to the oncologist and they do the treatment. But then after that, you end up back in my space, and I do a lot of the follow-up. After a presentation, we went to 615 Puna Hawaii Street. There I saw the sign, Hawaii Family Health Integrated Family Health Clinic, which you'll relocate to sometime this year. Building is coming up fast with fantastic construction company, Sun Construction Inc., with their hardworking, skillful employees. So I spoke to Dr. Mitchell about her project. And it's an exciting day here. I am with Dr. Mitchell. You know, Dr. Mitchell, it's really amazing. I drive up on Hawaii Street and I see this big building. So hey, what's going on? We're building a very large clinic. Wow, I can see that. It's very large. So yes. what, is it only going to house you? The top is going to be us. We're going to have a huge primary care center and the bottom is going to be rental space. Wow, so you know, um, so tell me what, what's your concept about your, your, your clinic? What, what's it be that? A clinic, a doctor's office? I mean, I got no idea what's going on. We do team based primary care in my office. So we have a physician and we have a registered nurse, all of whom are focusing on you, our patient. Wow, so you got many different people mm -hmm. focusing on one patient? On one patient. We also have a dietitian and we have psychology services as well. Oh, you we know what? We even do telepsychiatry. Wow, it's like the ultimate care for one patient, right? We try really hard. So, um, Dr. Mitchell, you know, you're using, utilizing the top, so um, I know you're looking for people to rent possibly the bottom. Yes. And what, you're looking for basically some kind of person in a medical field? We'd prefer physicians. It'd be really nice if we had people to refer to, specialists. Wow. Yeah. So now it's like a one-stop shop. So now if I'm not feeling well, I go to exactly. see you, right? And you can send me to your various, wow. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, that, that would be so nice, you know? And, and, and that's what it's all about, right? Yeah. That is what it's all about. If you're my patient and you're not feeling well, and you need to see somebody, instead of going to urgent care, you can still come to my clinic because there's still availability. There's other providers available for you. Okay, so my, my big question, you know, in a lot of doctor's office, you know, they're not accepting new patients, and you? We are still accepting new patients. They can still come to our office. Please don't call my cell phone. Okay. But you can call our office number, which is 933-2399. And your address here? Our address at our current office is 50 Ululani Street. Okay. And our new office will be on Pona Hawaii Street. Okay, you know, just call the number and you know what? Come and see Dr. Mitchell. Man, she's an awesome, awesome doctor. I had nothing but good comments about her in the community. So uh, good okay. luck on your new practice. And you know, thank you. And I, I probably might drop by. Well, we would love to see you. Okay, great. Fantastic. Good luck. Thank you so much. Okay, man, you know what? I'm going to eat everything. Here you go, George. You know, I think this bug a winner. Mmm! 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 Mm. Oh! You know, this is the one. The ginseng. The ginseng. Mmm. Uh, you grab some chicken from here. Huh? You see? 
Got the chicken. Say the chicken is stuffed too. Twenty minutes. Hmm. Oh, that's good. And the pizza now. Mmm. Mmm. The cheese, the basil, the tomato, the calua. Oh. And here you go. This is the simplest thing to make. Wow. Huh? Mm -hmm. What? In one time tea. Eat it again one time. Yeah. Open the hot. Mm -hmm. Okay, man. Yeah, this is April, great month. Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah. April Fool. <laughs> and we we'll see you folks. Bye bye. Aloha. Aloha. You know, I've been going all over Hilo and I found this place called um, Hickey Steps. You know, they're at, at different schools and I thought it was so unbelievably amazing because there were a lot of young parents, there were grandparents, there were, there were a lot of children there and they were all exercising and everything else. And I met Jermaine. Hi and everybody. So Jermaine, tell me what is Hickey Steps? KG Steps is a family child interaction learning program here in Hilo, Hawaii, and we're also in Oahu and Kauai. So, you know, you have various locations here on the island? Yes, we do. We have four sites one in Keokaha, one in Keao, one in Kapi'olani, and one in Kaumana. Uh, Kaumana? I mean, yes. it's, a, it's, a, it's a new site. Hey, we just opened on Tuesday. So, you know, I was so amazed because I saw all these kids interacting with each other, right? Yes. And I saw these grandparents over there kind of learning how to take care of their children and Absolutely. how to, you know. So maybe you can kind of tell me why children should participate or why, why grandparents should even bring their kids to Kiki Steps. Kiki Steps is a free program, number one. Number two, it promotes education and Hawaiian culture and it's in your community. So we've taken a preschool and we've brought it to your community. So we are asking you to come out and basically play and learn with your child. And or I was, grandchild. Yeah, oh, child or grandchild. Uh, or and, great grandchild. Or great grandchild. And I was really amazed because of the diversity of the students. I mean, I saw some youth from Japan. Yes. Right? We have so many cultures. We have Micronesian, Samoan, Hawaiian, Japanese. We even have a family from Russia. So we're so excited wow. to just have this conglomerate of multi-cultures there learning and gaining from one another. Wow, this is how the children understand what Hawaii is all about, yes. right? And this year we are promoting Hawaiian language and culture. So if you want to learn a little bit about Hawaii, the place that you're living in, we ask you to come out and support Kiki Steps. Okay. You know, how do they sign up? 421 Kalani Koa Street, we're right above Hilo Lunch Shop and everybody wow. in Hilo knows Hilo Lunch Shop. Oh yeah, definitely. Yes. So our number is 933-2933 and we have our uh, secretary here, Princess. She's here from 8.30 to 3.30 each day. So please give us a call and we'd love for you to register with us. And you got a website too, right? Yes, we're at www.inpeace.org. Okay, fantastic. And here's Princess. You know, she registers uh, all of the uh, students for Kiki Steps. So, so Princess, tell me how do they register? Um, you can either call me and I can send you through direct email or you can come to down to our office and we can give you our registration packet. It's kind of long, but hey, it's free. It's free, right? It's free, so okay. it's worth it. And yeah. then we have a list that you can go through. Uh, we only need a copy of TV clearance for all participating adults, TV for child if they're two years and older, um, child's birth certificate, and a child's uh, shower. Okay, fantastic. Again, the phone number to call? 933-2933. Uh, and your hours? Uh, Monday through Friday from 8, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Wow. Okay, here's our friendly <laughs> staff here at Kiki Your name? Gina, Thelma, Andrea, Kekai, and Jermaine. You see? I mean, these are the people that make Kiki Steps happen. Hey, does anyone want to say anything out there? Hey! <laughs> I got a special message just for you. Come, Come down, down to Kiki Steps. Steps! Come on down, Kiki Steps! 
This is an awesome, awesome place. Hostu Trust State Support Group of the Big Island celebrated their annual caregiver and family supporters appreciation dinner at the Nani Mao Gardens in Hilo. More than 50 members turned out for the event, highlighted by great banquet and desserts, along with orchid plants, flowers, and dozens of door prizes for the honorees. Chairing the event were Wilbur Lau and Ron Hueoka, assisted by key volunteers as Al Malingas, John Okino, Richard Redek, Roy Toma, to name a few. The Big Island Support Group is the largest of its kind in the state. The group meets monthly to share information on coping with the disease and host guest speakers and demonstration. For more information on joining this group, call Wilbert Lau at 989-8509 or El Malingis at 935-2723. It could change your life. And welcome to Senior Grinds. Today we're at the fabulous Kenichi Rec on the Hilo talking with owner Michael Inoue. You know, let me tell you, they, they got some good food. And whenever there's food around, my partner Derek Curiso, let me tell you, he's right there. Get Michael over here, owner of Kenichi's, Michael Inoue. The man himself. And you know, Michael, tell me about Kenichi's. Oh yeah, well, Kenichi's is uh, almost five years old now. Um, we started it, uh, you know, with just uh, a little dream of mine and with the uh, help of my family and supporters, uh, you know, it's been going real good so far. Speaking about family, I always see your family here helping you. You're so, so fortunate. I mean, they coming together, sitting in the back table today. And we have the many who needs make a gyoza <laughs> today. So today is gyoza day. So we have uh, uh, my family in the back uh, uh, doing that for us. But you know, this is what Kenny's is about. It's a gathering place. Because your menu is unbelievable. You get something for everybody. Uh, I think we do. I think we do. Uh, we serve a lot of uh, fresh uh, fresh fish and a lot of local favorites. And uh, obviously my main passion is ramen. So. Right. And you got, you got takeout, you got catering, you get takeout pants, catering, right? And you get dine here, you, know, you get everything. Yeah. For me, if I cannot find parking here, I always park across the street. I park in the county parking lot. I'm very careful when I cross the street. So. Yeah, that's good. Now, we do have parking across the street, public parking. How much is the meter? Uh, 25 cents for two hours. Oh, you cannot go wrong. Yeah, yeah. Okay, man, I'm hungry. I cannot wait to eat. Awesome. This is my lucky day. And um, you know what? I go one thing at a time. Okay. Okay. You know, my grandmother told me never to be hoitobo, my son. <laughs> <laughs> you know what is hoitobo? I do. Okay, I do. okay. But I know you're excited, so. Oh, man. I, mean, <laughs> I tell you what, I cannot even talk. Okay, I'm going to eat the brown rice over here, okay? So, we're going to try to taste this salmon. <laughs> Let me raise it. Oh! Wow! You know, my. The salmon is done perfectly, huh? Crispy on the outside, moist on the inside, and the flavor. It's just exploded flavor. Mmm! Wow! Mmm! 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 Hey, anybody like salmon? They gotta have this, because this thing here is like... <laughs> Incredible. Right on. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, Mike. What we got here? This is our uh, ribeye sizzling steak. Uh, one of comes our out seasoning there. Oh, man. And it comes with rice. Rice. rice and salad, yes. Rice and, and salad. A little bit of uh, mushroom and onions uh, with a special garlic sauce. Oh, you know what? Steak, rice, and salad is like the ultimate. <laughs> and it comes with, with um, mushroom and onions. Yeah. Oh, man. Unreal. Man. Oh! Mmm! 
Wow! It's so you, you got one star grill back there, right? Wow! Mmm! 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 But it's not seasoning for talking yet. Oh, but it's so oil. Mmm! Mmm! It's thick! Oh man! You know, the steak flavor is unbelievable. It's done perfect, just the way I want them. You can order them any way you want them, right? Yeah, them. And the mushroom onion is perfect. You got special sauce on there. Mmm! 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 How come you steam it? <laughs> I was sure. joking out there. Yeah. <laughs> now you know why he's big. Quality <laughs> <Already> control. <laughs> we do all kinds of local favorites. Uh, fried pork chops is uh, another one of our favorites. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, our boneless Korean chicken. Mm -hmm. uh, we also do a panko furikake salmon. Mm -hmm. It's also another uh, mm -hmm. house favorite. Yeah, what's your hours? Uh, we open for lunch 10 to 2 and uh, dinner is 5 to 9. And we're closed on Sundays, so Monday through Saturday. All right, next one. Oh, <laughs> you can take that away. <laughs> so this is one of our house favorites. Um, this is a curry ramen with cheese. Uh, wow. Something I put together when I uh, got back from a trip to Japan, and wow. And you got a big piece of. Um, this is yakibuta. Yeah. Uh, oh. So. So this is like a curry ramen and have cheese inside. Yeah? Cheese right on top of the ramen noodles. You know what? This burger is all mine. Yeah, yeah. No, that's not to share. Wow. Oh, and you got cheese and all the inside. Yeah, you see them. Look, look at this, man. Eh? Oh, and you, you, you're not manini with the, 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 <laughs> the chashu, right? With the pork. You don't fool around, yeah. eh? Eh? It's, it's all about the uh, proportions. Oh! 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 You know what? This stuff is unreal. You know, somehow this, all these things, the flavor, the cheese, the, the, the pork, the kurobuta, and the, the, um, the, the, the broth, and Everything in here is like one great marriage. <laughs> <laughs> it works, it works. They all it love works. each other. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Just like Hawaii, yeah? Mm. All in the bowl. It's a Hawaii all in the bowl. All in the bowl, all in the bowl. <laughs> oh, you know, everyone out there, you know, look at me. They say, oh man. <laughs> you look very. He gets small eyes because you know when I eat these, my eyes come small. They're so good. I don't know. I just smile and you know my eyes come small. <laughs> it's so warm. <wonderful. laughs> good. I'm oh. glad you like it. All you guys out there, you guys should order this. Again, cheese, cheese curry ramen. Mm. Oh. And coming soon, uh, we're gonna have some cheese cuts curry. Wow. Huh. Oh, and they don't go manini on the ingredients. <laughs> Nothing but the best. Mmm. Ah! That's what I like about Japan. You can make noise when you eat. <laughs> it is allowed. Only, yeah. only when you eat ramen. <laughs> only when you eat ramen. Only when you eat ramen. Yeah, my eyes come small. They're so <laughs> oil. Any last words? Uh, no. Come, come visit us at Restaurant Kinichi. Um, Monday through Saturday. Thank you very much. And because, yeah, the food is... Thank you. I was honored to address the Hawaii State Senators with their moment of contemplation to open up their session. I want to thank Senator Brian Taniguchi for his honor and Senator Lorraine Inouye for taking this photo as she listened to my message. 
As I entered the Senate chamber, I was greeted by boxing champion, my friend Ben Villafor, who is a Senate Sergeant at Arms. As the Senate President Kouchi and fellow Senators listened, he was the heart of my message. As the devastation of the tsunami in Japan, For Us from Hawaii were sponsored by Housemart, a local business. For four years, we spent five days at Rikuzen Takata, the most devastated area of Japan. The wave traveled five miles up the valley destroying this fishing village and many lives were lost. Our purpose was to help the survivors recover by bringing joy and happiness back into their lives. We prepared local dishes for dinners, built picnic tables and benches, played games and befriended the victims of this tragedy. The magic of our Aloha spirit help with the recovery of their lives. Talking with a community leader of Rikuzen Takata, I learned about wa, a valuable Japanese word which he claimed was instrumental in their village recovery. He said wa is taught from early childhood at home and at school. Wa means to be personally responsible and obligated to live in harmony with people and nature, to make decisions for the good of the group over personal interests, to understand you're a part of an interdependent society, so whatever you do or don't do, you consider how it affects others. Wow, this is why after the tsunami, there was no looting Whatever didn't belong to you were placed in a common area so people would find and claim what was theirs. Wow, so this is why, even with millions of people in Japan, there is hardly any litter on the streets and in the parks. Wow, so this is why the ancient buildings and gardens are preserved and kept clean, beautiful, and natural for everyone to enjoy. Wa in Japanese means being responsible for the good of the group over just oneself. Yes, if every person in a Y respects the differences of others and is able to make decisions for the good of everyone rather than only oneself, it will bring an even better Hawaii. Thank you. Aloha and lucky we live in Hawaii. We at KTA is constantly developing relationship with our suppliers and always looking for new items to better serve you. Let me give you an example. Oh, wow, man, it's an exciting day here. I got Jeep from Tabasco. Tabasco is manufactured in Avery Island, Louisiana. Oh. So it's about uh, two hours uh, outside of New Orleans. Okay, man, show me what you got here. This is our Tabasco red pepper sauce. Uh, created in 1868, this year, 2018, is our 150th anniversary. Always been, always made. Uh, in Avery Island, Louisiana. So uh, since that time, we've created other hot sauces as well. Uh, our green sauce, green is a jalapeno wow. uh, pepper. Very mild, uh, wonderful on uh, tuna fish. Our garlic sauce, great on Italian pizza. Our habanero sauce, our hottest sauce. Um, that one will uh, wet your whistle. You know, you know, you cannot do a shiracha, but you know like the best shiracha, you know that when you eat it, it doesn't bite you, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like the other shots are bite you. This is smooth. Just smooth. like you, Jim. Smooth. Preservative free. Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> nice little flavors for you. Yeah. It's fun, fun sauce. Great. Go on your website. You know, I do have Tabasco shirts and stuff I wear. And how can they buy these stuff? Tabasco, very simple. Tabasco.com. We have all kinds of recipes, all kinds of stories. We've done wonderful things with uh, all this new technology and drones showing our island. Wonderful things that can help educate you and your own time in your own house uh, and see how we make Tabasco and bring it from us to you. Tabasco.com, right? Big aloha, big aloha. Big aloha. Man, I got the man here, Brian. We grew up here on Karatuna. Old plantation food. Rice, Karatuna, and shoyu. Mix it up at all, man. It's 
so delicious. Yeah. So Brian, come on, tell me what's going on. Yeah. And, and when, you, when you're done with that, don't forget your sardines. You might be surprised at just how good that is, but crisp lettuce, that's the key. Cold, crisp lettuce. Yeah, we grew up with sardines. Sardines with onions, shoyu, and sugar. You fry it like that, man. Oh, man. High in omega-3, good for the heart. Oh, good is for that the right? Ticker. Good, <laughs> good for, for the ticker. ticker. If you're looking for something really convenient, you're going to see this soon. Wow. This is where you just hit the easy button with this wow. one. Wow. It's got tuna salad all mixed up. Wow. Just tear it open, eat it. And okay. If, and if you're not feeling that hungry, you can have one single serve with a spoon. Wow. Wow, it's yeah. fantastic. Just tear it open, ready to go. Good for okay, that. any last word, Brian? Uh, just... Okay, <laughs> just hang loose. Hang loose, that's it. I'm with the Martinelli girl, Joni. She's a national sales manager. Uh, where, where's your manufacturing plant? In Watsonville, California. Wow, and where does the apple come from? In the Pajaro Valley, right near Watsonville. Wow. wow. You know, Martinelli is just like a household name here on the islands of Hawaii. I mean, everybody drink that. You know, when I was a kid, they, you know, you can't drink the regular champagne, so I always party with the apple cider. Yeah. I still do. Right? You still do, <laughs> huh? And I love the apple juice. Yes. Unbelievable. We are a family-owned company in Northern California. We're in our uh, fifth generation of family-owned companies. All of our apples uh, come from Northern California, and it's um, the, it's a juice that's not from concentrate, no preservatives or sugar added. We have a proprietary blend of some of the tastiest apples that are grown in Northern California. Uh, and we've just kept doing this for generations, and we're celebrating 150 years. 150 year. years! Yes. You know, apple is really good for you. They are. Right? Apple a day. Uh, apple a day, in fact, our Martinelli apple juice a day. That's we'll right. keep the doctor away. Away. <laughs> awesome. Come on, check that. Thank you. We got the Duracell ladies over here. Hey, big shaka, big shaka. Come on. Oh. We got Doreen and Teresa. So, yeah. Tell me, <laughs> why should I use Duracell batteries? Because they are the best batteries out there. Hello. Batteries. You know, you have your flashlight for a long time, and you know, the thing leaks and everything else. Oh, and, no. you know, eh? No, not with Duracell. Not with Duracell. No, not with no, Duracell. No, with Duracell. No, with Duracell. No, with Duracell. Yeah. <laughs> no. anymore. You know Duracell, they got all different sizes of batteries, right? That's right. And they have all different sizes of package of batteries. Yes, we do. We have batteries for everything. Oh! Small batteries. Oh, exactly. Yes. So, any last word about Duracell? Go out to your local retailer and buy Duracell. Don't forget, hurricane season starts in June, so be prepared. Be prepared and make sure a flashlight does not work without a battery. That's right. Awesome. That's right. Hey, That's big right. shaka, big shaka. Bye. Yeah. M&M Mars is an unbelievable <laughs> candy company. I'm just saying they got something new. What you got there? Skittles. Sweet heat. Sweet heat. Yes, Skittle flavors with a kick. Wow. Wow. Uh, hey, you know what? Can it. I try one? Yeah. All of these one time. Oh. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> wow. It's so delicious. Okay, you have to kick it. Skittles. Skittles. With the. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, awesome. <laughs> hey, buy up today, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Aloha. Aloha. I got the tree top girl over here, Susan, and she's been coming every year to Hawaii to sell her tree top. 22 years. 22 years of tree top. Tree top. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, tell me about tree top. Okay, so Treetop is a co-op of apple growers out of the Northwest, 1,200 apple growers. We take the apples, they don't sell the fresh, and they, we put them in a bottle. The number one apple juice in the country. That's pretty good, pretty good. All USA apples, 100% USA. And you have many different flavors now, right? Yes, we do. You know, and I, I and always, every year I see it on the air in Hawaii, and I tell myself, this Susan, she's a Johnny Appleseed of Treetop. <laughs> You're the Johnny Apple seed. The I Johnny am. Susie's seed. Is that okay? Okay. okay. Yeah. And we she, try to keep the seed thing down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and she, she puts street down all over the world. That's right. Thank That's you very right. much for spreading all the happiness. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Thank you very okay. much. Okay, thank you. And uh, Aloha. There is a physician and healthcare shortage in Kona. So the Hawaii 
Physician Assistant Advisory Group wants you to learn about the community effort to bring a physician assistant program to Kona. The gathering will be done on April 28th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Nelha Gateway Center. Lunch will be served. Please RSVP to Claire Yoshida at hawaiipaprogram.org. Welcome to George Yoshida's Camera. First, I want to thank all of you for teaching and taking care of our children, the future of our island. For making I'll Hawaii Island a special place, creating an atmosphere where people all this. over the world only dream about. Endless it's already April. This month starts with Easter. So during your Easter celebration, when you get together, be reminded about the beauty of your friends and family. They say April showers brings May flowers. Yes, the beautiful yellow rain makes our island green and beautiful and special. This April is Marimana time, a time we're able to show the world the true beauty of our island. There will be a lot of tourists, our guests from all around the world. So please treat our visitors like family, but due to the crowded streets, events and businesses, be extra careful, but most of all, be safe. So I want to thank all of you for making the island of Hawaii the greatest place in the world. We should all be thankful that we live on this great island of Hawaii. So let's kick back and listen to George Yoshida's cousin, a recording by Pastor Ron Yoshida. I'll remember you. Every bright star we made wishes upon Love me always, promise always You remember to To your arms someday I'll return to stay to Hey, guess what, Don? I see your grandson here. What do you want to tell your grandma? Hi. Just hi. Tell grandma you love her. Love you. Chaka, yeah. Hey, here's all the pretty people on Wai and Wai. Hey, give the big chaka. Awesome. Let me go and get Kaui and Kaya. Hey, what are you guys eating today? Poke. 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 Yeah. How do I eat? How do I eat the poke? <laughs> hey, give the big chaka, big chaka, big chaka. Remember, I'll remember you. I'll remember you. Ron Yoshida, I'll remember you. Now he sings, You've Got a Friend. When you're down and trouble and you need a helping hand and nothing, oh, nothing is good. My friend Lima, his wife, and his father-in-law. Okay, but how do I eat? Oh, oh no. Guess what, man? I get my friend Sterling here. Sterling, come on. What do you like to tell everyone out there? Aloha. Okay, big shaka, big shaka, big shaka. Guess what, man? Familiar students from Navahi here. Hey, what? You want to tell us? Something out there to all your friends in Hilo. Yeah, hey, aloha to me. Eko Hilo, Eva, my full name, my dear. Hello, aloha here, Yakaku. Imi mau ika ho ika ika ikia ina hawana. Hello, new Yakaku. Aloha. Oh, aloha. Thank you very much. Hey, guess what, man? I got my friend, guest Spencer in Kona. Hey, what do you want to tell everyone out there? 
praise the Lord. Okay. Thank God for the rain. Okay, great, good, good, great. Give the shaka, give the shaka. Shaka. Yeah. We get the greatest golf wish here in the community. Hey, come on, tell everybody the shaka. Give the shaka. I'm doing nothing. You're doing nothing. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Amen. Hey. Big brother, how are you? How are you? Good, good, good. Hey, come on, come on, show me how are you. Oh okay, yeah, big shaka, big shaka, big shaka. Yeah. Hey, guess what? Yeah, my friend Joseph. Hey, how do I eat? How do I eat? Oh, plenty. No, no. What guys want to make when I eat? How do I eat? How do you eat? How do you eat? Mmm. Oh, mmm. Yeah. Looking at the food. Hello. Yeah, you like flowers in the house. You know, we want to eat. Okay, you, you big shaka, big shaka. Puma. What's up, man? I got the man here. What do you want to tell all your friends? Yeah, I see you eat with Kevin Johnson. Yeah. A basketball player. <laughs> Burger joint. Burger joint. Okay. Hey, big shaka, big shaka. And I get my friend here. Yeah, he eat the Korean fried chicken every day. And if nobody eat pork rinds every day. But wait, what's the problem with KT? Is that we're no more? Huh? 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 Yeah, no more because George is retired. Yeah, when George is retired, how they get every day? How they get no more, hardly. Yeah, so I guess you eat them. I eat them. Okay. Guarantee. Give that big shot out there. A healer girl over here. Yeah, a special message for her parents. Come on, tell them something. Hi, mom. Hi, dad. Okay, give your mom and dad the big shaka. And I'll be yeah. Awesome parents. Awesome daughter. Bye, see you soon. Tell everyone all around the world that they can watch current and past episodes of Living in Paradise by logging on to ktsuperstores.com. But don't you let them. You just call out my name. And you know, wherever I am, I'll come running. Winter, spring, summer, or fall All you got to do is call And I'll be there, yeah you got a friend you got a friend Ain't it good to know you got a friend Ain't it good to know you got a friend So that's it for Behind George Ishida's Camera. But before we go, we want to thank our volunteer cameraman, George and Shirley Ito. And thank you so much for watching us on Seniors Living in Paradise. Okay, what we got here? Okay, before we go into that, I wanted to share a recipe. Okay. That, uh, given to me by my friend. Okay. She didn't want to give me her name. Or, okay. But it's called Japanese hamburger. Japanese hamburger, <laughs> I came from Japan. Yeah. First, we use about a half pound hamburger. Okay. Then we throw in half a block of tofu. Oh, tofu! <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's how you stretch them. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but we drained it so it's okay. not too watery. Oh, yeah. But yeah. you can stretch them out yeah, like this, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah? One egg. One egg, okay. Yeah. Okay. And about half of this, half a cup of uh, panko. This is about, okay. uh, about half a cup. Yeah. You know, what, you, know, you know what the panko does? It stretches it, no? Yeah, it yeah. kind of binds it to Yeah, and it keeps all the moisture inside. Yeah. Yeah. And it stretches it yeah. all yeah. out. Okay. Salt. Yep. And some pepper. Oh, this is the magic ingredients, right? Oyster yeah. sauce. Yeah. A little oyster sauce. Yeah, that's the, okay. that's the magic there. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So. We're gonna fry it all up. As you, you can see, the oil is sizzling oh, yeah, there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Blood is all local for oh, my Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the um, George Yoshida's on um, Japanese burger. The Japanese Ooh. burger. Yeah. Now this is the um, tofu burger. Uh, your your local Japanese burger. <laughs> 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 hey, this burger is all no. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, folks. Okay. On a count of three, 